What's up guys? Welcome back to another tool tip video. In today's video, I will show you how to set up custom domains. Let's jump right in. All you will need to do is click on your name at the top right corner of your screen and then select manage domains. Here you will see there is something called custom domains. Keep in mind that this is only available on the professional plan, so make sure you upgrade your account if you want to use this feature. If you upgraded your account, you will see that under custom domains, there's a button called connect domain. So just click on connect domain and then you will have to paste your domain into the box here. To be able to connect a custom domain to involve me, you need to have access to your domain's DNS settings where new records must be added. After this, it may take a few hours until your custom domain is active. With custom domains, you can reach your content that you made in Involve Me with your own domain name. This gives you full control over the URLs of your Involve Me projects. All custom domains on Involve Me include SSL certificate and provide encrypted HTTPs connectivity. The prerequisites to set this up are an active business or business plus plan on Involve Me, access to your domain's DNS settings. Custom Involve Me domains are always subdomains. For example, subdomain.mydomain.com. If you have any CAA records set up for your domain, make sure to include sectigo.com in the list of certification authority authorizations. Otherwise, the custom domain cannot be activated. In the text box, it is important to follow the format of subdomain.example.com. You should not include HTTPs or slashes. Please make sure to double check the spelling before pressing connect. And if you cannot press connect, make sure that the format of your domain is correct. I say this because once you connect a domain and you realize it's incorrect, you can only change it after 30 days. So it's super important that you get it right the first time. So I will just enter in my domain here and then I will click on connect. And now you will arrive on a page called DNS entries. Here you can find all the information you need to configure your domain name system. This you will need to do outside of Involve Me with your domain provider. If you need more information on the steps after this, I will leave a link to the help article in the description below. And then once you exit that box, you will see that your custom domain is connected. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching! Bye!